Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and today we're gonna fear the old gods. So this is the newest set at the moment from Lord of the Print, and it's funny because how do you say you really like Bloodborne without mentioning Bloodborne? Uh, you have the absolutely messed up and corrupted stuff that came in this release. Yes, this was a fun one, and I cannot wait to put this stuff together, but then again, Lord of the Print usually has really stellar releases anyways. So, as I was saying, this release is all about corrupted and messed up village folk. And so, that is not the right base. Then we've got this big monstrosity right here, upon which our Mistress of Corruption is going to sit. But before that, we need to show you what happened to the local... animal life so really nice bases by the way and again they are very evocative of well for me playing bloodborne which <laughs> this has absolutely made me do after printing it i don't remember where i was stuck but i'm gonna have to get back to it now so this base is i believe the base for one of the piggies so we've got some animals some livestock so you can see here he is hollowed And he's got a bit of a Demogorgon Stranger's Thing head going on with the skull exposed and a dead body inside. Now, I'm not sure if these are just little leftover vestigial remains of print supports or if those are like little teeth inside there or what. Maybe I can figure that out after I've got it primed, but he's a big piggy. Like I said, that also reminds me of playing Bloodborne, so yeah, he'll sit on that base wallowing over there. And to accompany that, we've got a horsey. Here is a horsey base. Now, that is a massive pig, I know. The horse is not as large, unfortunately. <laughs> Here is his body. Yep, and he's got six legs. Why? Why not, right? I don't know what's going on inside his belly, but that's okay. Maybe I don't need to know. He's got this fun little parasite type tail. So that gets me to want to reread, uh, what was that called? Not Kikaiju. Maybe it was, I don't remember. Parasite manga. Kiseiju? I don't know. It's a crazy tail. And it's also worth mentioning that almost all of the animals, I believe, have uh, two or three different poses. I'm looking for his head. Ah, here we go. Shades of the Thing. And I mentioned animals, so we have, this is just the trotting horse, there's also a rearing horse, but there are packs of dogs that are just as mutated. I haven't had a chance to print them, though. There's also a massive dragon that's as corrupted and kind of gives off shades of the gaping dragon from Dark Souls, if you remember that. So in addition to that, here are a couple of the villagers. Now, they're somewhat modular. Not 100%, but somewhat. And I believe this is actually supposed to be the same body, but you can see it's in various stages of just degradation in dog hair. Like I said, so they're semi-modular. You can see they have those slots for the arms. Here's one of their arms. Right? That checks out. One of those arms, there is a sword arm. Was that game called Parasite? Prototype! That's what I'm thinking of. Prototype where you have the sword arms. I enjoyed that game too. Or at least number one. I don't think I ever played number two. Also, various bases for the villagers. Not that I have any clue which is which. Printed a couple of them. They have a couple arms with pickaxes. Here's a two-handed pickaxe. These are super duper thin. I guess that's only one of my only real marks against this set. And other than the fact that these guys aren't truly modular, that was a bit of a disappointment, I guess. So they start like this. You can see he's still vaguely human in his rags, but then ends up... I'm not sure what's even going on anymore with his head or his legs. Surprised they don't have three legs. Some more arms, various hands. Lantern hand, not that you can see it because it's so tiny and out of focus. There we go. 
And then we need to make room for the Mistress of Corruption. So here is her torso. Okay, one of the interesting things, and I'm going to have to go back and play around with it. When you have this many limbs, and yeah, there are a lot, uh, it can be kind of a pain to figure out which is which. Now, I noticed on the 3D files when I was getting everything sliced for the printer, uh, you could actually see on all of the spots and all the limbs the numbers for them. So it was like L1, L2, L3. I can't see them now. It's fairly obvious where everything should go, and maybe that's because my printer is just not as high of resolution as some of yours out there are. I don't know, but it is what it is. The tail for the mistress is actually two pieces. This is solid, this is hollow, and I don't know how it goes, obviously, as I sit here playing with it. Nope. Yep, finally. Very fish-like, especially after playing with that car, car, car char tyrant. And they have her available in two poses, at ease or at attacking pose. So thankfully this printed off in one piece. It's quite bendy, the resin I use, I like that water washable stuff. And these days maybe I'll just start including a link to the one I use. There's two head variations. There is a masked version and then the unmasked. And the unmasked, you can see, well, there's nothing under the mask. It just is kind of a continuation of everything that was going on up there. That head doesn't fit. That's weird. <laughs> oh, that's why. Because it needs a torso. Duh. So if you want something a little out of the ordinary, the next time you have to have like a drider or whatever they're called, running around with your drone. Oh, and the legs don't actually have feet. They've just got little hands. Because why not, right? Like I said, so if anything wants to tell you you like to play Bloodborne, <laughs> without saying Bloodborne, this is a great model to show that. Hold on, there's more leg. I, yeah, there's a bunch of pieces here. So I'm going to have fun trying to sort all this mess out now that I've thrown it all on the table. But that's half the fun. I've been itching to get this stuff glued together. And let me grab it all. Hopefully without breaking it. And we shall see the results shortly. All right, folks. So this little piggy peeled his face off <laughs> and this little horsey turned into a hideously deformed monster of superhuman size and strength and these little piggies I get them in focus despite being so thin of limb actually went together fairly easy and without any real hassle but some of them are in better shape than others here. I honestly cannot wait to paint this stuff. These guys are so messed up. Like, like this dude. I don't, I don't even know if he has a face anymore. I, I don't know what's going on there. Poor guy. Or our blade arm friend. You don't have a face anymore. And then... We have the mistress herself, the big bad mama. I gotta say, um, outside of the torso not fitting as flush as I would have liked, her limbs and part of her tail uh, actually weren't that much of an issue. Everything sat pretty flush here. And I'm still trying to figure out how exactly she's supposed to go on that base. But she gets caught on everybody else here. I want to say, like... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I have no idea. One of these feet are supposed to be touching. I thought she was like climbing there, like something like this. That looks right. Not everything's supposed to be on the ground. But you know, the nice thing is, with these limbs going all over the place like this, you could literally put them anywhere and it's going to work fine. You can't even see your face now. And I just broke something. <laughs> I don't know what, but I heard something go flying off. That's not a good sign. I have no idea what either. 
everybody's pickaxes are in one piece still. Let's see if I can grab some human-sized models. So you can see they are a little bit tall, or mutated villagers, but you know what? They're mutants. Why, why can't they be tall, right? Are WizKids human? A War Games Atlantic human? They're pretty standard-sized peoples. I'm searching for my GW friend, who should be, he's cowering somewhere in fear of the mistress. Sorry, Inquisitor, you should have a lot more willpower than that. Actually, <laughs> he's almost spot on. So, outside of just the weirdness of their elongated limbs, they look like they're going to fit in pretty decently with a typical tabletop human. I mean, the monsters, you know, well, anything goes with the monsters. That mistress, though. She a big girl. I mean, I'm thinking here, I've got my other cast and play dragon. I don't know if I ever posted the video of this guy. This is an elder brown dragon. My cast and play did. So you can see here, we, we've got some really nice sense of scale. And the even wilder thing is, there's actually a dragon, much like I, I think I said, in line with the gaping dragon from Dark Souls. Uh, if you wanted to ever have some kind of big monstrosity like that on your tabletop, uh, this is definitely a set worth checking out. And the fact that we've got various poses of those mistresses, all of the various animals, I still haven't printed any of the dogs. Shoot, I was going to do that too. Uh, there's a lot going on with this set, and if you want yourself some serious messed up trouble brewing in your homebrew village, this is the set to get but you know what that's the case with most of lord of the prince things anyways they make some really gorgeous models so if you haven't had a chance to check out their stuff uh absolutely do especially if you like dragons there is always something there to please and never to disappoint so hopefully you'll find some fun and disturbing models while you're at it just as much as i have with that said, though, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye.